Hello. Hello. Are you ready? Yes, I am actually for once. Okay, so I've had my run. Laurie's had a bit of time to herself, and now we're heading out to explore Belgrade. We got here yesterday about midday, but as we tend to do on our trips, the first day we tend just to kind of have a little bit of a walk around, grab some coffee, and just acclimatize. What's on the agenda today, Laurie? Uh, so, first stop is breakfast. And then we're just gonna do some general sightseeing, but we're also gonna be trying some local authentic foods. Sounds good. First stop of the day is exceptionally busy, which I think is a good sign. And we're going to be trying one of Serbia's most popular dishes, which is burek. Is burek quite popular here? Yeah, yeah. Serbia, it's, I don't know, maybe one of the most popular you know, things you can eat. Basically, yeah. cevapi, pleskevice and burek. That's it. Yeah, that's what we're going to yeah. try today. <laughs> I took you like 150 grams each. Do you want yeah. more? Well, like one cheese, one meat, just like to share. Have to share, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, we're looking forward to this. <laughs> Very happy face. <laughs> <laughs> ah. We have got the goods. Ah, oh, so ready to try this. Out of all the foods that I don't know that I was looking at, I think this is probably one of them that I was like really excited to try. And I think because it's one of Serbia's most popular dishes, I feel like we've definitely got to give it a go. We've gone for the traditional mincemeat flavour and also cheese, of course. Oh, it's still so warm. Excited to try it because it's cheese filled. We think it's feta, but we'd welcome anybody to tell us what it actually is. I read that apparently uh, Burek means to twist, so the pastry's got all these beautiful twisty, turny bits of phyllo, and then you can see these huge chunks of cheese, which oh, I'm going to just have to try it. Mm. So good. You can see why this is popular. And the cheese is actually, I'm not sure what I expected. I think I expected like a bit of a cream cheese, but it's actually quite solid sort of cheese in between the layers of pastry it's quite nice and salty which i didn't think it would be but it's actually really really nice oh so good so this one is the meaty one should we give us a try mm -hmm. oh i'm excited mm. that's so good the meat is so tender that as soon as you bit in, well, you don't really bite it, it just melts. It's nicely seasoned, it's got a lovely flavour to it. Mm. And to wash the burek down with, we are going to be having it with what looks like in the UK would be a tub of cream. <laughs> but it's actually yoghurt, so apparently you have a bite of burek, and then we're going to wash it down with some yoghurt. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Actually, it's a tiny bit sour, but that complements the saltiness of the cheese quite nicely. It washes it down quite nice. Mm. Actually, it's quite... You wouldn't think it, but it goes really well together. So we've made it across town and we're now at Belgrade Fortress, which is, I think, the most popular tourist attraction here. Yeah, it's very busy and no scaffolding on anything no yet. scaffolding <laughs> which we are absolutely cursed for whenever we turn up somewhere 
the scaffolding. I'm just waiting for it. <laughs> so, no, positive thoughts will all be okay. But another thing, the weather is absolutely amazing. So nice. I'm not sure if it'll continue for our full trip, but... Yeah, I think it's meant to. Fingers crossed, that'd be nice. Oh, but, yeah. God, it, it's so nice. I was a little bit worried about visiting Eastern Europe in uh, October because I thought the weather might be a bit rubbish, but mm. so far, this is absolutely perfect. So we're gonna have a good look around. So next on our DIY food list is Chivapi, which is tied with or is just beaten Burek as the most popular or most, or most well-known food in Serbia. So this is one that I'm really excited to try. Laurie's found a well-reviewed restaurant to have some. So yeah, looking forward to it. Ah, thank you. Oh, look at that. You must have heard me. I know it's here. <laughs> oh, that looks good. If I open this up. Yeah, little mincemeat fingers. Mmm, that smells so good. So, I'm thinking the plan of action. I think I'm going to take a little bit of the type of pitta. Um, and then maybe just get a bit of the cashmat, the meat and then the salad and then just enjoy. Do you think? That sounds like a good plan. We'll put some of that on there. And check. Oh, that's nice and juicy. Oh, it smells good. It smells so nice. Put a bit of that in there. Cabbage. Should we get some cabbage there? Mm -hmm. And then some of the raw onion. I've seen like a lot of people have it with raw onion. I feel like that's a, that's a hefty mouthful, I'm not gonna that lie. Looks, that looks like a good mouthful. <laughs> Should we give it a try? Mmm. Mmm. That's good. The meat's really nice. Nicely seasoned, like it tastes really good, it's really flavourful. Then you've got the smooth, creamy cashmack. And then I think the salad as well is got quite crunchy and crispy. So it's just like a real mix of like flavours and textures in there. Mm. You like it? I like it. I think it's really good. So I can see why it's so popular. So that's and two meat dishes today that you've liked. Mm. This is good going for me, Serbia. Mm. I think it will just continue, to be honest. That is amazing. Like the meat, the kashmak, the onions, the cabbage, and then that bread all together is. might be better than the burek, as in it might be my favourite. It's a really good mix. I'm really pleasantly surprised by this. I can see why this is kind of like the top rated food, you reckon, in your research. Mmm, definitely. Oh, amazing. That was delicious. It was so good. <laughs> Serbia hasn't disappointed with the food. It hasn't. I didn't know what to expect, but you've done well here. Thank you. So I've taken over the role of sort of finding foods to eat. So my list was very long and I've had to unfortunately put it down to really, really short lists. So there's a lot more foods that we wanted to try, but I don't think we'll have time or stomach capacity to do it. Yeah. But the man that we met at the bakery this morning, mm. he said he said three things, but two of them were Burek and Shivaki. Yeah. So I feel like we're doing the, the most iconic foods. Tick. Done. Both of which were amazing. So good. But we've got one more savoury dish to try. Mm -hmm. So we're going to finish up here and then go find it. Ah, 
sit here. This one here or this one by the window? That by the window. Yeah. Damn, that looks so good. <laughs> that looks good, doesn't it? That looks amazing. It's just like, so it wasn't overly busy in there, um, but like literally everybody who's in there is just eating this. So I feel like that's a good sign. Ah, oh, looks so good. I think I'd like to try this one first. Fine. <laughs> okay, so what we've got, um, Again, this looks amazing. It's some Hungarian inspired goulash. I think it's got beef in it, but we just know it's got some kind of meat in it, so we'll work that out as we go along. But it's served in this nice, soft, and a little bit crusty bread roll. And I just can't wait to try it. So normally Laurie tries food first, because she's just better at describing food than I am. But this one I thought, get out of the way, Laurie. I'll put it to the side, and it's my turn. So I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. It's beef. Neither of us are huge beef eaters, but you'll like that, and I like that very much. So soft, so tender, but this is what I'm looking forward to. Mm. Mm. I'll try it before it gets cold. Mm, oh my god, that meat is so tender. To the point where I was like, is that even meat? Can meat even be this tender? So I wasn't sure what the meat was. Neither of us were really, but I don't know. It's because it's, it's so tender, but it's not like how you'd usually expect meat. The meat is a mixture of what appears to be kidney, liver and tendons. If you put those three items in front of me and said eat that, I'd be like, no way. But... Well, maybe we've learnt a lesson here today. In this, absolutely, like, enjoyed it so much. It's quite funny, because now we know what it is, we're a bit like, ah, oh, did we actually like it? But we really did. So, <laughs> after 27 and 26 years of avoiding any offals, so like kidney, liver and things like that, I think we've learned a valuable lesson here today. That said, I don't think we'll be making a habit of eating it. It's just the thought of what it is, but I can't lie, it was damn tasty. Are them kidneys tasting now? I keep thinking about it because oh, the thought of it just makes me feel it takes me back to like biology when you learn about what the kidneys are used for and I'm just like... <laughs> well, I didn't think about its function. <laughs> well, yeah, oh. I just thought it was really super tender beef that had been like really slow cooked. And now I just, I, I just need some dessert to get over it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're going for. <laughs> that's what we're going for. <laughs> this is called Needler, I think it's pronounced, and it basically converts into English as dumplings. So these are sweet dumplings that are made from potato, which sounds, I don't know, I'm not sure what to quite think it's going to taste like, but then it's coated in buttery breadcrumbs and sugar. Now we've gone for the traditional plum, and we've also got raspberry, which is filled with sweet cheese. So yeah, I feel like these are going to be slightly weird and wonderful combinations but I'm quite looking forward to trying something different. I feel like should we go traditional first? I think that would make sense. Okay let's have a look inside. Mm. So there's actually like a whole plum in there. That looks mm. good. And it's quite thick and um, doughy dumpling. I kind of feel like you need to go through your hands with that though. Do you think? Yeah. Okay. You've got half of it. Get right. stuck in. Okay. Let's see what it's like. Mm. You can tell the potatoes in there. Oh, really? Mm. It's quite a thick, stodgy dumpling. The plum is quite sweet, actually. 
Mm, I'm quite surprised at that. The plum's quite sweet. Overall verdict on the plum? Mm, actually, a lot better than I thought. I wasn't sure what to think, but I think it's just the consistency of the dumpling, like knowing that it's made with the potato. It just feels a bit weird, but once you have a couple of bites, you get into it. It's nice. So this is the raspberry and cheese one. Get a close up of that walls. That looks amazing. Mm. That messy. That's by far my favourite. Really juicy, like raspberry, like kind of jam, with, like half minced up raspberries, and like cheesecake like cheese so i think you'll really like this this is really nice i can't really tell that it's potato it just tastes like dairy to me but i like it mm. so we've just hit 19,000 steps and we're going to add a few more steps to that because we've got a 25 minute walk back to the other side of belgrade to get to the temple of Saint Sava. So that's where we're heading. We're at what Matt said is the largest Orthodox church in Serbia. Is that right? I think so. And to be honest, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful building. And it's quite nice that we've come here at sort of sunset time. There's a lot of families around here. Everyone's just sort of, I don't know, it's a very, very nice, chill atmosphere around. It is even more beautiful on the inside. Yeah. Or just as beautiful. Yeah. It was stunning. Like I think breathtaking, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it's one of the most beautiful things we've ever seen. I think this time of night is yeah. a good time to come visit it. We were originally yeah. planning to come a little bit earlier, but it's I'm, just got dark quick though, hasn't it? It has. Time's run away with us. I'm glad we've come at this time. Yeah. It's really nice. Now we've got one more stop on our food tour. A little bakery. It's open till ten, but I'm a little bit worried that it would have run out of what we wanted. So we're going to walk there and just see what happens. I feel like it's quite late to be eating cake, but I feel like my second stomach is coming into play because it's dessert time. Well, I suppose it's second dessert, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we've gone for two cakes because this bakery apparently started in 1851, so we heard there was quite a good few suggestions. These were two of the top ones, so this is what we're going to try. Firstly, I've got the reformer torta cake. So on the top you've got this really nice smooth, it looks like dark chocolate. Mm. And that dark chocolate goes so well with the walnut. Mm. It's quite an indulgent cake. I feel like you probably couldn't have this every day because it's quite rich but mm, so tasty. Mm. The second suggestion that I found, I feel like is a bit of a cheat because it's not actually Serbian. But traditionally it's Mexican but apparently this bakery does it really well so I feel like while we're here we've got to try it. So this is a tri leche cake. It contains three types of milk. So you've got evaporated, condensed and whole milk and you've got this massive layer of caramel on top. So I don't know where to start. So, ooh, it's quite smooth. Oh, it smells so sweet. Mm. I was going to say it's quite milky, but I feel like that's like such a stupid description. It's very creamy, very smooth. But then that caramel on top just adds like that little bit of sweetness in. Mm. That's really nice, that is. And we almost didn't come here because I thought they would have run out of these cakes by now. But Laurie talked me into coming, so well done, Laurie. I hope we've covered the most popular foods. Probably not all the foods we wanted to try. We had loads more on our list. But, like I said, we're just a little bit limited on time and also limited on stomach space. So we just had to pick some of the 
top recommendations and hopefully we can return to Serbia soon to try even more. Back to me for a second. Side note, all the people, or all the Serbian people that we've dealt with today have been absolutely lovely. All the, all the Serbian people that we've met today have been absolutely lovely. I didn't expect Serbian people to be not nice, but just a comment that they were very nice. So, 